In the previous video we have prepared our candidate map class, although we have not, not implemented correctly the exit and start points, they are unimplemented and Unity in, fr in a friendly way is reminding us about that, that's good. Now we will create a night piece class that will store all the information about how to place our knights on our map. So let's create a new C sharp script, let's call it night piece and open it up in the code editor. Okay, I need to add it to my namespace and this will again uh, not be a mono behavior. So let's delete the mono behavior inheritance and all the methods from our newly created class. First of all, we need to know the positions where our knight can potentially move. So let's create public, a static, list i need to import using system collections generic and this will be a list of vector threes call it list of possible moves equal uh, it will be a new list of vector threes we can now create new positions and fill them in so for, as you might recall, the image of our possible movements for our piece, now we are going to place those as if our knight is in the center, and those are the offsets from the center so to where our knight can move. First one will be minus one, zero, two. Let's copy this vector definition. Let's uh, place a comma, go to the next line paste the same vector and we are going to delete the minus in front of one okay great i will format it a bit again comma new vector and now we will place a minus in front of two it will represent uh, this will represent another position again new vector now we are going to delete the minus from the one and leave the minus in front of two great and now let's go and implement the next set of values. So instead of minus one in front, there will be minus two now, zero, and it will be minus one uh, as the D value. Let's copy this vector. And now we are going to create a new one uh, with minus two and minus one. So the, this one will be with plus one. Next one will be instead with plus two, minus one. And the last one will be 2 and minus 1, or sorry, 2 and 1. So this will give us all the offsets for positions that our uh, knight piece can move. So it will be with 8 vectors, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And those are the static positions where our knight can possibly move, depending on, of course, if this cell with uh, such offset from the knight original position exists in our grid. So we'll check against it uh, before placing the obstacles around our knights. Okay. Next, we need to create a constructor, so CTOR, and we will take a vector3 position. Okay, and we need to store it, so let's create a private vector3 position and let's make it into a property okay encapsulate and we have it uh, below i don't like that so i am going to place it above the constructor and we are what we are going to call is this we can call position uh, with uh, capital p equals position so our knight will know its position and basically that's it for our knight. It could also have a list of obstacles uh, that surrounds this knight. So maybe if we would like to delete this knight, we would delete all its, obst uh, its obstacles, so all the obstacles that it has created around itself. But we are go not going to use this. Instead, now we can go back to the candidate map class. Okay. And here we are going to slide it down and create a new method, public, 
uh, or private void randomly place night pieces great and we are going to take int number of pieces okay and we are going to set var count equals number of pieces that is because we are going to randomly choose a position where we could potentially place our knight and uh, check against our grid or our obstacle array if we can actually place there a knight so if it isn't a start position or end position so we are going to decrease the count uh, every time we successfully place our knight this way we are going to ensure that every knight so all the knights will be placed somewhere so first while count is greater than zero and there is one issue with this solution because now if there is no empty space uh, we will loop forever in this loop so we could implement a simple check to check against that so simple way would be to create a fail check uh, by counting so var uh, night try limit or night placement try limit and let's set it to 100 and we can say that every time we try placing our knight we will decrease this value and we are going to check and knight placement prior limit is greater than zero so this way we are never going to enter the infinite loop and that's always good okay so here first of all we are going to create random number so random index equals and we want to go upwards and uh, below using unity engine we can type using random and equals unity engine dot random because there is a conflict with system dot random so it's best to do it to do it this way so let's call random dot range and we are going to call from zero to obstacle array dot length so we will make sure that obstacle array length is uh, instantiated to the length of our uh, number of cells in our grid and we are going to choose a random index from that grid and we are going to check if obstacles array at that index is equal to false so if it is a free space we can now calculate the coordinates so var coordinates equals and I have forgotten to implement this method so we need to call grid dot calculate coordinates from index and we are going to pass our random index let's alt enter on this method and generate this method and we are going to quickly implement it so let's go to quick actions uh, sorry let's left click go to definition okay it leads us to our map grid class here we don't want it to be internal we want to be a public and we want it to return a vector 3 great and now what we need to type here is we need to calculate our int x equals our random index percent so rest from division of width and int z equals index uh, so random index divided by width and now we will return the vector 3 so new vector 3 x 0 z so this is the opposite calculation from the one we have for our index somewhere around here so this is it let's copy this and let's move it up so those are together and now we have two methods one calculates index from coordinates and the other one calculates coordinates from index 
Ok, let's get back to our candidate map class. Ok, great. And what we need to do here is to create an if statement. So if our coordinates aren't equal to third position, or maybe let's check better if are equal to start position or our coordinates are equal to exit position. OK, and we do not need those extra brackets. Let's continue. So we do not want uh, to place any obstacles where there is a start or exit already placed. Otherwise, we will call obstacles array and at this random index we will set an obstacle so we will set in our array true in this position and what we else need to do is to have a night pieces a list and we do not have it so let's copy the name let's slide up and let's create a private list of type night pieces let's pl paste the, the name equals new list okay great and basically we can instantiate it when we create our class so we do not need to do it up here so i have moved this instantiation of our list into the constructor for our into the constructor for our candidate map let's slide it down and we are going to call add new night piece so our class that we have created recently and we will pass to it the coordinates so basically we have created our night placed it inside our obstacles array and created this new class that represents our night piece it doesn't have to be like this you could have used a simple collection but in a case that you want, uh, you will want to store the uh, positions of this knight inside the knight itself for later deletion, it might be useful to have a separate class for this knight piece. Anyways, basically that's it. And when we have placed it, we are going to call count minus minus. So we will make sure that we only place this many knights. And of course, at the end, we have this night placement try limit minus minus to not fall into a infinite loop. So at the end, let's call this method somewhere. So let's slide up and below the constructor of our candidate map, let's create a public void create map method. We will pass to it a vector three start, pos start position vector 3 exit position and at the end we are going to pass a bool value auto repair and let's set it to be false for now okay and inside this method we are going to set this start position start point equals start position this exit point equals exit position and we are going to call our random and randomly placed knights and pass this dot number of pieces great okay it was quite a bit of code and in the next video we will place our start and exit positions on our grid and maybe visualize where our randomly placed knights were placed uh, and visualize them as simple primitives on our map.